Yes, and it lifts in my heart all the time. And I've got that Jesus. Of course, we all have that Jesus who always comes through for us. And that powerful song is by a powerful woman, Ohima Messi. She's here with us in the studios. And it's, it's always just, you know, refreshing speaking to her because I always go way back to her, her, her songs, you know, from those times. Made Neho. <laughs> that used to be one of my favorite songs from her. I mean, it's still one of my favorite songs from her. And uh, it's always good to talk to her. Hello, good morning. <laughs> Nana, you ma. My dear. It's the same. God has blessed me so much. Mm. And I give As for the blessings, dear, it will never stop. It will never stop. Amen. Amen. Mm. It will never stop. And I, I, I mean, after experiences, after experiences, Taylor has been one of the most amazing things God has put on your heart. Yes. And every single year, mm -hmm. it comes with too many um, testimonies and all mm -hmm. of that. Going through all those experiences, mm -hmm. sometimes you sit back and look at them. <laughs> I know. Um, every word and mm -hmm. message God drops in your heart, mm -hmm. or every prophecy, yeah. you need to work on it. Okay. Um, if God gives you a prophecy and you don't work on it, it doesn't activate itself. Yeah. So for me, I've been obedient to every word and messages mm. that God gives to me, and the evidence is what we are seeing. Mm. Mm. So for, Tahila is one of it. Mm. Um, when I'm on Facebook and I'm praying, yeah. I have sleepless night, I have to get up. Um, listen to the voice of God. Go and do, do this. Go and speak this word. Mm. And at the end of it, people share testimonies. It's, it's just being obedient to the voice and the call of God. Mm. Sometimes it's a lot of hard work. Yes. I mean, how, how after yes. everything the world sees and everything the world goes through, mm. you have to still be able to listen to God of and course. say, you know what? do this and you you'd want to go ahead sometimes it's very very difficult yeah. like you are you feel you are so tired yeah. but when you are moving with god obey and then you move mm. and for me i have i have seen the evidence in the hand of god mm. moving me to places sometimes at the end of it i have to ask myself did i really do this yeah and it's amazing. Mm. it's amazing. And the music journey has also been very, very amazing. Hits after hits. You know, you don't next stop. is going to be 20 years. In the ministry? Yes. 20 years. Man, I still go back, man. Yeah. <laughs> I still go back. Beautiful. And it's been quite a journey. From Ademe Home yeah. to Dry Bones. It's, yeah. it's amazing. It's an amazing journey. Mm. The mm. rough times, the things that you need to learn, yeah. things that you need to let go, yeah. a whole lot of things that you need to allow yourself for God to put you in the refinery and then bring you out. Mm. It's a tough season. Mm. Sometimes it comes and you are crying. Sometimes it comes and you don't even want to go. Sometimes yeah. some of my team members will just call you. He might know you are tired, but you need to go. Mm. And you know, listen to the people. I call them my royal. Yeah. You can't just disappoint them. Yeah. So the voice of the people keeps you going. Mm. 20 voice. years in this industry. What's that one thing that when you look back in all the 20 years, you say that this is one of the most toughest decisions you had to make in your journey? I think right after um, the COVID. Okay. Rebranding Tahila experience and mm. bringing it back. Mm. It was a tough season mm. because that was where Companies and other individuals were hit yeah. by this great storm. So going to them for help and mm. all that was a tough decision. Mm. But if you know that it is God that has really sent you, he make provisions. Yeah. So for me, uh, it was a tough decision bringing Tahila back 2021. Mm. But with God, all things are possible. Yeah. That we did it yeah. by the instructions of God. And it came up very powerful. Yeah. yeah. Is that one experience that is on your heart anytime you look at it throughout the journey? It's it's a beautiful experience that I, you see. I ah, actually this. gave up. Oh. I actually gave up. And God brought one great personality, K uh, Koka. Oh, uh, Crunchy. <laughs> yes, that came into my life. And sometimes I now understand why if you are a woman of God or anyone, that's 
is working with God. God brings in people you don't really like, understand. Yeah. That this one doesn't even know much about spirituality. Yeah. But this person will come with the same word you are even expecting from God. Wow. I'm telling you. And Kuka did that? What, 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 what time, what period was that? I remember there? I called him and I wanted to talk to him about my vision on mm. what we want to rebrand, a healer experience mm. and all that. And then I said, but I know I cannot do this one. Yeah. And I've given up, even on ministry. Really? And he said, no, Oima, your ministry is so big. You don't see what we see out there. Yeah. And he was, he actually encouraged me. He's not the only person. A lot of people came around. Mm. But how he was able to carry Tahila's experience upon himself, went to companies at that season yeah. and talked to them about my ministry, yeah. introduced me to companies and all that. As a matter of fact, some people come into your life for a reason. Yeah. And for me, I'm grateful for that. Very, wow. very. Wow. That's quite an experience. I, well, I remember at that period. I didn't know the background story like you were telling me, but I remember that period. He was everywhere. everywhere. Around you, everywhere. you're moving around he, and he all. Really the T-shirts and, yes. He really worked. Yes. And there, there are two gentlemen too I need to recommend and appreciate. Mm. Um, Felix, my designer. Okay. Great. That's your designs. I'm yeah. telling you. Very, very amazing. As a young one shared, that's it. I'm giving this guy wisdom yeah. for him and mercy. Yeah. And so that whatever, whatever she wants to do, you'll be able to translate it into the spiritual into side. Prayer. Because if I'm telling you the things that goes into discussing things that I have to put out there with him mm. and the kind of wisdom and things that he will brainstorm to mm. bring, it's amazing. Mm. You can see the hand of God. Um, doing that. Yeah. For me, I appreciate the sleepless nights that Felix have to go through in designing Tahila experience and all my my designs that I put out there. Mm. Andy, of course, mm. he was part of me right from there where we wanted to re, uh, bring out Tahila experience and he shared powerful ideas with us. And mostly when I'm putting down the team for the year, when God speaks to me, I discuss with him, and then the way he will even interpret yeah. is amazing. Wherever they are, I'm grateful. A lot of people that I can appreciate, but team or him and mercy, they are mm. doing very, very well. Mm. Mm. And I, I, these, these are all amazing guys. Yeah. I mean, if, if, you, if you happen to be around them, you know exactly what yes. she, she's talking yeah. about, and I think that they deserve all those commendations yeah. that have come. Uh, for them, uh, how, how do you move with your team? Is it, is it spiritual movement or we do physical you know, small go? Because <laughs> at first it was very difficult because I'm basically more spiritual. Yes, everything I mean, imagine I, everybody I, around you, and so for them to understand my language, yeah. they need to go through a whole lot of struggle with me. And mm. at the end of it, I feel it is God that really. Um, brought them into my life to mm. understand my language, to understand what I feel, what I really want to do. Sometimes it's not that good, but we struggle. Yes, and then we come to um, the understanding of what I really want and mm. they move with it. Mm. And it's, 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 not, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. I'm telling you, that, that's the fact. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, from where you're coming from, we understand. We have to understand that you are, you're also being led. This is what I want, <laughs> and you have to do it. Yeah. Same way. And that's a command that you have also been given. So, course. yes, you also want to stick to it. <laughs> and sometimes they feel, oh, yeah, yeah, they say, I ain't going to know nothing. This is what I want. <laughs> now, you have two sides, like I said, the ministry, the music, and all of that. Um, are we possibly in the near future, or maybe even the coming days, is going to see a full prophetess emerge. Oh, come on now, Emma. <laughs> no, listen, I'm doing what God has sent me. And it's, it's not a first. I, at the age of 15 years, at mm -hmm. the secondary school, I was doing the, whatever you are seeing. Wow. Just that the social media is really helping. Wasn't really there to push it like that. It's cutting across. But whatever you see today started way back. 
when I was at the secondary school, I was the SU president. I was the Pentecostal president. So you could see that the Crefe part of it is in me. I won't watch it of Pentecost, you know now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Elder Mirko's father yeah. trained me. So oh. for me, it's been like that. It's been like that. But it came at a point where I need to understand that I need to combine both physical and then spiritual. Mm. So now I've grown to the part where I'm in the world. I need to understand that where the world is moving, I need to also understand it and then emerge it with what God has given me. And mm. it's really working for me. Okay. Very, very. All right. So there won't be any ministry specifically oh, ministry that I'm dealing with. Yeah, I would do like. <laughs> and if the calling comes to be a full prophetess, would you, like, you would that, I, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> because. It's, you need to understand that calling very well. Mm. Mm, because why are you messed up? Mm. So for me now, this is where God has placed me, to be a room mother, a mother to everyone, mm. especially worshipers, and then uh, up and coming artists, mm. uh, train them good, take them through um, the understanding of their calling mm. and then pray with them. And for me, going on social media, Facebook and yeah. other uh, platform to encourage people, it's more or less like I, I have billions of people I preach to. Mm. So for me, it's a big, uh, sorry, pardon me. Usually, do you get these young people coming to you? A lot. Yeah. A lot. One of my daughters is here with me from Takradi. Oh. Um, Everywhere. I remember somewhere, I, I think five years ago, I was mm. there and a woman of God came from London. Is, and she said something. She said she was praying at the Achimota Forest and the Lord directed her to come to me. And the woman is 60 years. How can I be a mother to yeah, a woman like that's that. 60? And it made me understand when God gave me a revelation where I dreamt and I had a lot of breasts all over. And it was very difficult. I said, hey, I didn't something going to happen to me. And then I went to my father, Prophet Anno, and he interpreted to me that God has made you a mother to a lot of people. Mm. So I need to position myself very well and allow myself to go through every process because a lot of souls are being tied mm. to my life. So mm. for me, I feel God is doing something with my life. I need to just take my time, go through it because there are a lot of people that are looking up to me yeah. uh, to survive and to do ministry. Anything that will happen to me affects a lot of people. Mm. Yes. Mm. Awesome, and you do that very well. Now, let, let, let's talk about, you know, the music. You've had a new one, another beautiful, beautiful song <laughs> that you're putting out there. Why did we decide on the dry bones of it, it, it came from? I think right after... Um, Ultimimo is two years now. Yeah. And for me, I've had a lot of calls. Mommy, we need a new song. Mm -hmm. So last year, I had um, Dry Bones. I ministered at Tahila Experience, and it was wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I have to work on the video. I have to work um, on it at uh, the studio to bring out the sound very well. Yeah. And by the grace of God, the awaited song, Dry Bones, is in. When you go on YouTube, a lot of testimonies that people are sharing is mm. amazing. Mm. And for me, Dry Bones came with, to birth when I was at US, sometimes cooling myself in a hotel. And whilst I was meditating, I opened to the Bible to Ezekiel 37. And then when I was reading the message, I had this two revelation. The spirit of the Lord mm. came upon Ezekiel. And the hand of the two things that came upon Ezekiel, that took him to the, uh, the valley where there are a lot of dry bones. And the spirit of the Lord asked Ezekiel, can these dry bones live? And there is something that Ezekiel said, it is in your hands. Mm -hmm. He said, my hand that is on you and this, my spirit that is on you, speak on these dry bones and it will come to life. Now, when we are relating to our life, we go through a lot of storms. Mm. We go through a lot of dryness. We go through seasons in our life that we feel, this one, I can't can, survive yeah. it. But there is something in us that at that, at that particular time, the devil is contending with us. Mm -hmm. When you rebuke the devil and say, whatever I am going to, it is possible. 
that I will bounce back again. Then heaven activates itself and it works. So I, we are just entered into the month of July. Yeah. And this song came in the month of June, June, where we are preparing, entering into the month of perfection. And we were supposed to even release it in April, and the Lord oh. said, no. I have to go through a lot of struggles. Mm. And the Lord said, I am giving you the green light to bring it out in the month of June. And then when they enter into the month of July, I, the Lord, I will stand on my word and move. So if you are watching me and you go on YouTube, just download the song. Let it be part of you. Mm. Now, when you speak these words, it, it brings some kind of presence around you. It creates some kind of things around you. And every situation that you are in, I must confess to you that it will turn around. Sure. There was this gentleman that was going to court. When you go on YouTube, there's a testimony a gentleman was sharing that he, he downloaded a song, listened to it, and whilst he was going, he was praying with the song. Mm. And he was telling God that, Father, if your hand is on this song, yeah. when I get to the court, let the judge dismiss the case. And when I watched the testimony, something shook in me. Yeah. Because if somebody can just have this little faith and a judge can dismiss a case, that is so crucial. Yeah. Then God can do something with the song. Mm. The womb will open. Mm. There are a lot of things that you need to activate in your life, not only with somebody speaking on your life, but you yourself standing in your room. Yes, I don't have money, but I prophesy. My finances, you need to come alive mm. so that in the next month or right now, in the next two weeks, in the next hour, I can pay. Yeah. I have said that to myself and God sends somebody to come and help me. It means that, mm. so it is time for you to also speak god is ready for us mm. and it all begins with our faith which is also the most important thing that a lot of people don't even look at. Mm. Mm. so this month you have a lot of work to do with your life. Mm. You don't rely on your man of God to pray. You don't rely on anyone to pray. Activate prayer, revive your spirit, and things that seem very dead in your life will surely come alive. Awesome. And we had the uh, Kofi Bipra on that. Yes. <laughs> Amazingly, when I had that message, Kofi Bipra called my son and he said, I said, this one, um, I want you to do something with it for me. I said, Baba. That's the message that I had, and by the grace of God, I told him, I'm praying with you. And I know God will give you the way how to write it. And he came up with this beautiful, beautiful song. Wow. Yes. And that's how we had Dry Bones, and it's out there already. Uh, just make sure that you go and download it. And like she said, it's for you to activate a lot of things that will happen to you in July. And you don't want to take that for granted, because right now, the, the, when this woman speaks, the anointing and everything that follows it, if you're not careful, people will be going and you'll be behind. You know what I mean? So do your best. I mean, a lot of change. Music has gone beyond just yes. we looking at them because it's, it's some, you know, gospel musicians singing it and all of that. Do you think that we've been able to back away with a lot of prophecy? We've been able to back away with a lot of anointing from God, you know, for the people that are going through a lot of things uh, these days. The and the calling of gospel music you need to understand your calling. Mm. And for me, um, right from Kofuridia, uh, being called into um, the gospel music, God made me understand my calling yeah, because it was very, very tough for me. Mm. But I need to understand where God has called me. And I'm, I'm actually moving according to the calling that every message that God gives to you you need to understand that as a gospel music, if you make impact, it starts from you. Mm. Your preparation, mm. your relationship with God is much important. So so for Kojina stage, so and he prepares himself, pray before the uh, direct, you know. Mm. That is how if you're a gospel music, you, you, you need to. to understand. 
Because if you can make impact, if the word even comes and you don't pray for the hand of God to be on it, it cannot make impact. So for me, gospel music, as a gospel minister, you need to understand your calling and you have to stick with God. You have to have a good relationship with God and then create that kind of presence so that your ministry can make impact. Great. Be, uh, before we go, do we have any other projects we're working on for this, apart from the song? Uh, the yes, one that well, I think right after Tahila Experience. Um, Tahila Experience is on the 8th it, yeah. of September, yeah. and I'm breaking the news first here. Yo, you just had it on, here first. On the 8th of September. Yep. Prepare yourself, and you know how we do it. Tahila Experience is a pilgrimage for Ghanaians, wherever you are. Ghana at the oil dome, we're having this great encounter. You can't miss this one mm. this year. If you have ever missed the Hila experience this year, wherever you are, others are coming from other African countries. If you are in Ghana, wherever you are, just prepare yourself that on the 8th of September, I'm not just coming to meet anyone. I'm coming to meet Jesus and something will change you in your life. If people are testifying, it is your turn to also yeah. testify. So on the 8th of September, mm. we are having Tahila experience at the Oyo Dome. Great. Uh, my father's Sam Crunchy and Chris Church. Great. And then um, right after Tahila experience, we'll drop in another single. Okay, great. So it's going to be amazing on the 8th of September. Uh, last year, uh, I was supposed to have performed. Uh, I couldn't perform. I was just in the crowd. Don't worry. This year, I'll perform for you before. <laughs> we'll do the collab with this. Bring day. it on. <laughs> we'll do the collab with this. Day. Last year, I was just sitting down. But I should have been on that stage. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. I can't see anyway. I'm, 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 <laughs> I don't know how you'd have survived on that stage. I know, right? I'm telling you. There was too much heat. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming welcome, and sir. speaking to us. We really appreciate you. Of course, that's Ohima Messi. And the song is out there, Dry Bones featuring Kofi Pra. Please make sure that you go and, you know, stream it, stream it, stream it. The video is also out there as well. Watch the video, share it with friends and family. And trust me, it will make the change you want to see in your life. God is speaking through this music and you don't want to be out of it, all right? There's what's up. Now, uh, 